Hey, I just want to show you something pretty cool that I have kind of stumbled across. So usually uh, you want to test your scenes, right? Because these are interactive experiences uh, and you want to test, are things working? Uh, now obviously you can go to preview and you can test it in there. Um, but if you want to test it on your phone, that's how your users are going to see it. So what's a good way to test on your phone? Now, uh, a lot of times before I knew what I know now, I'd close Arrow desktop and I'd go to my phone, open it up my phone, uh, load the .real file, which is the Arrow experience, uh, and then hit preview there and place in the scene. <clears throat> that works great, but one, it's super slow, and two, I've found that I, I sometimes bump and move things without knowing I did so. Um, and then I come back into Arrow on the desktop, uh, and I'm like, why is the tree over here? Or I'm missing an asset or whatever it is. So this is a quick way to test it without doing any of that stuff. You just keep, you actually keep your desktop open. You can test it, you can make adjustments, you can test it again. So here it is, you ready? You sit down, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, you basically hit this button here and you hit share link and you create a QR code. Now, if I scan this QR code with my phone, I will see the experience of this scene here. It won't be a .real file, so I can't mess it up which I'm very good at. Uh, it'll just be the actual experience, which is great, right? And then if I experience it and I'm like, okay, this worked really well, but you know, these mountains just aren't doing it for me. I can get rid of the mountains or the squirrel, whatever I wanna do. And then I could create another one. And then I could test it out again. And I could see the whole experience and I can't break anything or screw it up. Super, super awesome stuff. Now there's two things to note about this though, okay? One is that this scene takes longer to move up to the cloud than it does for this little QR code. So if you're going super fast and you've had a lot of cups of coffee, lots of cups of coffee, uh, and you scan this QR code, you may have to wait a second or two or three while this scene uploads. Um, so it's no big deal. You'll get an error inside, inside Arrow uh, that on your phone that'll say the scene's not there. So you know what? Have another sip of coffee, do five burpees, whatever you need to do, um, and then try again because it'll be up there. Now the second thing to note is if you're sending this to a client or someone very special that you're trying to impress, uh, when you create this QR code, when I hit create, this takes a screenshot of what you see here. Um, and it's a square, so there's no frame boundaries. You kind of have to just put stuff in the middle. Uh, but just something to note. So let's say I want to send this to a friend that has this crazy phobia against pins. These are pins here. So I'm going to need to hide these pins uh, before I create that experience. Otherwise she'll see pins and she'll freak out. So let me go down here and I'm gonna say pin, let's move pin, pin, pin. Uh, I'm gonna remove this lake uh, because you know, like someone could, you know, drown in there or something. So let's hide the lake. Where is it? Here's the lake. And I wanna hide fern. I just want the bear. So let's hide the fern, let's hide this tree. And I'll just have the bear because it's a great bear. So let's hide the tree. So now when I create, um, hide the F. All right, so now when I create this uh, this arrow scene, I hit create link, it's just gonna be the bear. So when she goes to place the scene, or when I go to place the scene where if I'm testing it, I will just see this bear. I won't see any of the other stuff. All right, so that's just something to remember. So one, it takes a while for the scene to get uploaded, uh, the QR gets uploaded first, and then two, whatever you have shown in your scene here is what's gonna show in the QR code as like the preview. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, it's super helpful, and I hope you use it. Oh my gosh, it's never working on my roof, that's why I got the thing. Sorry about that. Anyways.